I have been making these brownies, or a version of these brownies, for the last 15 years. They've had walnuts mixed through, peanut butter, swirled over the top, and even some cream cheese frosting when I'm feeling really fancy. But ultimately, this version is the best. Or let's just say that for right now, it's the best before I probably change it again. I cooked these with my son Noah, and although I'm fairly sure he was just in it to lick the spoon, I'm hoping that he will remember these little moments we share in the kitchen. The brownie itself is thick and fudgy, largely due to the sheer amount of sugar, chocolate, and butter in them, but also because of the moussey egg mixture, which is incredibly satisfying to make. But really, it's the minimal amount of flour and cocoa powder that provides just enough structure to hold them together that really gives them that sort of fudgy finish. Now, when you bake these off, the glaze is optional, but it really does make the brownies all the more irresistible. It's kind of like making a ganache, so you want to allow it to cool and set slightly in the fridge before you spread it across the brownies. And although Noah got distracted by the end of making these, I like to think that one day he's going to make them for someone he loves. And hey, maybe you will too. So slice them up, stick them on a plate, and enjoy.